All right, now what would you do if your friends dropped the ball on your birthday year after year after year? Our next guest took matters into her own hands. Please welcome Christy Capella. Christy, all right, so you obviously have some experience with eBay. A lot of people auction off some weird things on eBay. You auctioned off your 21st birthday, which is today, by the way. Exactly. Happy birthday. Yeah. So wh why why would you auction off your 21st birthday? Have they all been that bad? Um, I gave up after, like, my 18th birthday, which was, like, a huge milestone birthday. Sure. You're um, 18. You can vote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big deal. For some people. For some people. So so what, what was going on? How, how were they dropping the ball year after year? It was just little things, like, somebody would ask somebody what to get me, and it would be the complete wrong thing. Where you're like, no. you're my friend, you should know. Exactly. I hate roses or something like that. I got a table full of them. But anyways. <laughs> sure. So year after year, you were disappointed. Exactly. So when did you think to yourself, all right, I'm, I'm going to do something. 20, 21 is coming up. This is a big deal. You know, everybody knows what 21 is all about. It's about, uh, you know, four more years so you can rent a car. Exactly. Kind of thing. That's all it's about. And uh, when did you decide, all right, I'm going to auction off on eBay and see what I get? When people started suggesting what I should do for my 21st birthday. Mm -hmm. scared me right away, and so, I said, that's uh, what, it. What were they suggesting? What kind of friends are you dealing with here? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not very good ones. Obviously not. <laughs> so what were some suggestions that you were getting where you're like, no, 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 I'm not doing that for 21? Um, I was suggested Vegas, and I didn't. Eh, Vegas isn't your thing? No, don't want to get drunk and have the drive through chapels or anything like that around sure. me. <laughs> I know. When you get drunk on 21, most people get married. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. So, yeah, it's good to stay away from that. Anything else? Um, <laughs> just, like, the local scene. Sure. Which, yeah. If you're from where I'm from, no. All right. All right. I get it. I get it. So, it, it turns out we should, we should tell everybody at home what we did was we actually bought your birthday. Yeah. Somebody from the show found your auction on eBay because, of course, we have our weekly It Came From eBay um, yeah. segment on the show where we try to find crazy auctions. And we found yours and we thought, huh, we, sh we should, we should, uh, we should uh, win this auction. So, we did. Yeah. Do you recall how much we paid for your birthday? I think it was like 177 Well, that's not enough. That no. is absolutely not enough. <laughs> but we won. And so here you are, and we're actually going to take you out for your birthday tonight. Exactly. <laughs> so weird. I mean, uh, what did you think when we first called you and said, hey, we're at this uh, television show? I and, honestly and thought it was a geek. Did you think it was one of those I, awful I, friends of yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> you just thought it was somebody, I'm from a television show? But, um, but it really basically. was. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, since it was featured on here, I had a bunch of geeks emailing me. It was great. Did you, ha did you have, like, a lot of people? Did you have any really weird, freaky people um, auctioning for your, your birthday? Yeah, there was a guy of... from Texas that was pretty creepy. I had to, like, block his ID thing. Like, you're not going to win me. You're not allowed. There's, you're not going to be <laughs> part of my birthday. All right, so we're going to take you out tonight. 21st birthday. This is a big deal. What are you going to order first? Because we are going to a bar. That's, that's what we do here on the show. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. I don't drink. Well, the nice <laughs> thing about it is that a lot of people from our staff are going to be there. You know, I'm going to be there. Brennan's going to be there. You stay away from him. He is trouble. Yeah. So whatever he gives you, just pour it out and say thank you very much, <laughs> sir. Um, so it should be really fun. We're yeah. looking forward to it. And then we're going to show what happened on the show tomorrow. So hopefully everybody will keep their pants on. Yeah. Yeah. Christy's like, I don't, I don't want to do this at all. <laughs> now, yesterday we introduced you to Christy Capella. You remember her? She's the, the young woman who put her 21st birthday up for auction on eBay. Very nice girl, that Christy, who ended up in our clutches by some very unfortunate turn of events. And we promised her a night in the town, and we delivered. So we're here with Christy Capella. We, you are the 21-year-old. It's your birthday today. We, we beat out everybody else and, and won the auction to give you a good birthday here in L.A. So are you ready to go out tonight? Definitely. Okay, so Christy, Lindsay, everybody knows that a 21st birthday must start out with a 21st birthday drink. But I have my own TV show. I couldn't afford a drink for you, but I found this at the bar. I don't think she likes me. You're spitting on me. 21. Where is she anyway? Woo! Michigan, right? Yeah. There's snow there. How do you meet dudes? From Michigan. Real fragile. Even though I have no I'm a pretty handsome guy. What'd you say? For 43, yeah. <laughs> she got you. 
Chrissy, I feel like things are winding down a little bit, but this is your birthday, so we should see the like bright lights of Hollywood, what do you say? Yeah. Did you know that you share a birthday with some of television's finest? Sam Neill, Jurassic Park. Dan Cortez from television's Veronica's Closet. And finally, Walter Koenig. He was uh, Star Trek's Chekhov. Did we have the pointy ears? No. Did everyone have pointy ears? No. Oh. It's oh. all glitz and glamour. I mean, I can't even go to the store anymore without just yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Sarah, Sarah, you're yeah, so it's awesome. Like your... It's a lonely life at the top. Original Star Trek cast. I already got Shatner. Who's next? You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, I got a star map. You wanna go? You wanna see stars? Drive, go left. Left, left! I said left! Right here! Wrong way, driver! Oh my god, stop the car! Stop the car! We're here! We're here! We're here! You guys, we're here! Walter? Walter? Happy birthday. Good cake. Where is he? Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, it's okay. <laughs> no more words. You can shh. You can try for caning later. It's all right. God, this is the worst day ever. This sucks. All I wanted to do is wish Walter Koenig a happy birthday, and it's all ruined. Christy, uh, do you have a favorite TV show? Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives. You ever seen Cinematech? It's ringing. Cinematech World Headquarters? Yeah, it's Silver Ferret. Hello, Silver Ferret. Has the eagle landed? The eagle has been perched and stopped. Excellent. It's a go. Hey. Hey. You guys want to come in? It's Christy's 21st birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Do you have cake? You know, Sarah, you've got, you know, the Walter Caning cake, and it's in the car, so you may as well just, you know. You yeah, know. That, that's too. Oh. Try the frosting. I did. Thank you. Can I have that? Yeah, go ahead. Just kiss me. Get away. Just do it. Get away, you Come creep. Come on, kiss me. Seriously. Kiss me. Kiss me on the lips. You know what's weird? <laughs> I don't even remember you being there. But you had a I guess, uh, yeah. It's funny how fast they uh, can slap a restraining order on you. Yeah. Nowadays. Well, they're from Michigan, so yeah. they, don't, they don't see the likes of you around Grand Rapids too often. Christine, happy birthday. Yes. Thank you for hanging out with us. And sorry it got so ugly. So fast. I don't remember a thing. Me either.